Yaksha has been working with indigenous communities from since 1998. This sums up to 22 years of bringing smart agricultural practices in the lives of community members. Here at Yakshe, we promote agroforestry, ingali cropping and beekeeping, all compromise of sustainable farming practices that communities are now using to generate income for their families. We are proud to say that we work with 120 farmers and their families in the Maya Golden Landscape that are now benefiting from such practices whether that be the development of value-added products such as cacao nibs, cocoa powder, chocolate, raw honey, etc. There is indeed a drive to balance harmony between nature and human development for the benefit of both. Nuestra tierra, nuestros bosques, gobernanza forestal de pueblos indígenas y comunidades is one of the many contributors to the work that Yaksha does with communities in the Maya Golden Landscape. We take the opportunity to thank them for their many contributions towards the work that Yaksha exercised in the Maya Golden Landscape. The Russian Yaksha is a very important part of the community. The good thing about this type of farming is that it brings income that is important for buying food, household needs, payment of bills, and education expense for my children. Another benefit of doing this farming is that it is different from what I used to do in the past where I clear and burn forest for milpa and every year I needed to clear for a new plot and use herbicide. Now I see what I'm doing is better. So I feel like I know I'll benefit out of the cacao because I not tried it yet. But since I start to plant, then now I see the benefit of it because I was marketing and I was um, use it for my home use. I use my, I make chocolate and I do my chocolate, chocolate drink and everything it's benefit me. One day when I was starting to think about farming, I feel like I will not benefit out of it. But now I could see the, the, the benefit out of it because I sell my cacao and I, even the company buy it from me fresh and also I dry some for myself for home use. I say I will quit to use the chemicals. So I say I will go organic for my health, for my family health. So I, I think about it. So I, I, I totally change. So I go, I start to do farming organic now. So I do my cacao organic. I plant whatsoever I do, my corn organic, my beans organic, my coffee organic, my everything, my cane, everything is organic, so no longer I use chemical. So now I am benefit out of it, even since when I start to work this thing, this, this farm here, and I feel my health, that I still feel healthy, and I still feel strong. Sain, saan ako kain? Napunta pa sa lugar sain. Makakap ng halaw, makakap ng kaketso, makakap ng ak, makakap ng kaket. On this farm, you can find lots of wildlife. This includes gibnat, chachalaka, pikiri, monkeys, and the aguti that walks around and eat fruits. There are a lot of wildlife that eat under the canopy. Wanna quit El Hanaxiru Eli in Castain Lee? Oh, quite a low. I get a low. Was a hish, Nakube, not telling why Queen, Nash Chapter in Sit of Chirishikal. Aha, come on, never came mark, won't you get Sena? And it's a naked as in Gitsi El Ray Hish and Co. Well, won't you get Sena? I harvested two under my fruit tree over there. Oh, there is plenty of gibnat. 
In regards to the Jaguar, it walks on my trail and comes very close to my house where it took my dogs. Right now, I don't have any dogs. The tapir has made a trail through my anato field. In addition, we see deer, peccaries, and plenty of birds, including the toucans and the or pendulas. These are some of the wildlife that I see on my farm. Uh, March. In March harvest yeah, beans. while I harvest the, the beans and then I harvest the anato together. Right now you're harvesting cacao? Right now I'm harvesting cacao right now. I have, um, every week I harvest three to four buckets of cacao and then I, I, I used to sell it to, to, to organization but they stop by but I, 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 I dry my own cacao, I sell it for $3 a pound right now. This market is there. Sembre shish chilo ba yaka na yashche. Kena kama abingo. When pas lish jalalil ha abing travel abing travel workshop. Pero kama chancha le pa bank. Porke le pa yashche has helped me through the meetings, trainings, and workshops that I have attended. The thing is that these sessions are very good, but it's like going to church where what you hear comes with action. It's similar to the training session that Yashche provides. For me, what I learn, I apply it right here on my farm. <laughs> I encourage farmers throughout Belize to get into this type of farming because it's easy to do and it's for the long term. You will be harvesting and selling throughout the year, which brings not a lot of money but enough.